Shock advertising. There have been many ad campaigns that have outraged the masses. In shock advertising or shockvertising, provocative taboo subjects and images are used to grab eyeballs. The aim of such advertisement is to create a buzz and conversation generating brand awareness. This tactic goes as far back as 1919 where a sausage ad showed a pig slicing itself. However, sometimes shockvertising can offend the public and damage brand reputation far more than attract buyers. Recently, Balenciaga faced heat due to its ad campaign featuring children holding teddy bears wearing sexual bondage gear. The ads were later pulled down, but their business, however, took a hit. In 2018, Dolce & Gabbana ruffled some feathers too. DNG released a series of video ads on social media to promote its upcoming fashion show in Shanghai, China. The ads featured a Chinese model dressed in DNG attempting to eat Italian food with chopsticks while a narrator made stereotypical and mocking remarks about Chinese culture in an over-exaggerated Chinese accent. The ads were widely criticized for being racist and culturally insensitive. Many people took to social media to express their outrage and the hashtag Baikot Dolce Gabbana began trending on Twitter. As a result of the backlash, the fashion show was cancelled and DNG issued a public apology. However, the controversy continued to escalate when a private conversation between the DNG designer Stefano Gabbana and Domenico Dolce was leaked online. They made derogatory remarks about China and its people. This resulted in a significant loss of business for DNG in China and damaged the brand's reputation in the country. It serves as a reminder of the importance of cultural sensitivity and understanding when marketing to diverse audiences. In another ad by Benetton's, a priest and nun were shown kissing. It was supposedly a comment on the religious and sexual conflict of human nature. Its unhate campaign even showed ex-president Obama kissing Chinese leader Hu, which raised a few eyebrows. Later, Benetton shocked everyone once again in 1991 with an ad with an image of a newborn attached to the umbilical cord. The ad, which was part of Benetton's Colors campaign, intended to promote and celebrate the diversity of the human experience. Many people found the image of the newborn baby to be shocking and inappropriate and critics argued that the image was exploitative and insensitive, while others defended the ad saying that it was a powerful and thought-provoking way to promote social awareness. Similarly, Calvin Klein has often received flack for its jeans ad. From 1995, CK's campaign showed young teens in overly provocative poses. In 1999, its advertisements depicting kids wearing only the brand's underwear were also cancelled. Critics argued that the ad was exploitative and crossed a line by sexualizing young children. Calvin Klein defended the ad, saying that it was meant to provoke a reaction and was intended to showcase the brand's youthful, rebellious spirit. The controversy raised important questions about the ethics of using children in advertising and the responsibility of brands to ensure that their marketing campaigns are not harmful or exploitative. Not just brands, but sometimes even the government uses shock advertising. In the UK, their own Department of Health leaned on shock advertising with its Get Unhooked campaign in 2007. To discourage smokers from smoking, they showed images of smokers' faces and lips being hooked with fish hooks. The ad campaign was said to be quite effective. What are your thoughts about shock advertising? Do you enjoy them? Have you come across any other such campaigns? Then let us know in the comments. For more such videos, stay tuned to Noello.